様に冒険者ギルドから召集の知らせが届くのですかなぜって私が高位ランクの冒険者だからゴールドランクどうして補助殿下が冒険者になっているんですかだって魔物の素材欲しいし自分で資金の調達できたら便利だし。I know that I always harp on slower episodes and for the most part the reason that I'm always very very critical of slow slow building episodes is typically because they're boring you know and a lot of them do really serve their purpose and a lot of them are better served when you are watching an anime 12 episodes at one shot, 13 episodes, you're watching half a season, half a core, whatever it is, they're typically really well served when watching it in the broader scope of being able to watch episodes 1 through 6 or 1 through 12 or whatever the case is. But when you're waiting week after week and you get one of these slower, slow burn, world building, Uh, maybe a character building type episode, and not all of them deliver it really well, too. Not,、uh, not all writing is equal, but when you get these slower episodes, they tend to be really, really boring. They tend to be snooze fest. Well, I was very pleased at yes, we did get a slower episode this episode. Uh, of, of Magical Revolution, but I was actually really pleased with the way that it was done because, again, it like I, I hinted at it already, but it always goes back to the writing and how captivating or capturi-、uh, capturing of the audience the writing can be. And, and what, is it, what is it actually trying to convey by being slower or you know, less things happening during the episode? What is it really trying to accomplish? And I really feel like they knocked it out the park with this one. So. The episode starts and ends with the dragon. So, first and foremost, I think that was a, a perfect director, like directive for the episode to go. It starts with the dragon and it ends with the dragon, right? We get this really like menacing, threatening thing at the beginning. Adventurers running from this, from this monster. They look back, it's a, it's a freaking dragon. We end the episode with, you know, Honest is going through the sky. She's going through the sky with Yuffie. And we just got done at a royal meeting between,、uh, you know, the king and, and Elgard, you know, the son saying, let me, t- let me fight the dragon. And they're like, we see Honest flying through the sky. He's like, Honest. So we get the end of the episode with the, you know, with the dragon. Now, we didn't see the dragon, but we get, like, you know, hints of what's going to happen next. In regards to the dragon. So I think the beginning and end of the episode really knocked it out the park. Then we have all the, the middle stuff. And I think that the way that, again, it, it all comes back to directive, like the way that the, the, the show or the episode is directed, kind of like how, or like how is it a sum of its parts. And then I think the other part of it is what is it actually saying to us? Like, what is it, what is it actually conveying to us? And really, the, the crux of this episode, what they really conveyed was Yuffie's. Self loathing, self worth, and her having to internally deal with the fact that, you know, she's still kind of coming to grips with that she's not going to be the next queen. Her whole life was dedicated to being the next queen. And she, even, even, even being acknowledged by her father, that she actually went above and beyond his expectations. So basically, like, she was kind of a slave to. Her own expectations of herself for being the next queen. So she was prim, proper, etiquette, training, magic, sore, all of this stuff that she was doing it was in preparation to be the next queen. And she was holding herself to this very, very high standard. And she really didn't deviate outside of this idea of what somebody in training to be the next queen would be. Now, I think where she effed up was building zero relationship with Algard and building a necessity for her with Algard, too. I think from a very young age, they should have been. And I, the, the anime hasn't covered it yet, but from what I've seen, is like she was around, but like really, like she should have been playing with him. She should have been building a bond with him. Like, I think she was so focused, or her, her retainers, or whoever was surrounded by her was so focused on making sure that she had all of these. Tools that they negated the actual bond between two people, which is a requirement for love, you know, or at least a requirement to have to deal with each other, you know what I mean? So I think there was such a focus on this, they negated that. Now she's finding herself kind of like she has no self worth, she doesn't know what to do with herself now, you know, she 
was given freedom by her father, she sees this other person, and she even re- refers to Honest as like this this bird who could just fly free. And she was like, she still feels like she's stuck on the ground looking up. Like she doesn't know what freedom means. Like what 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 can she do? She doesn't know. She wants somebody t- to tell her what to do. She wants Honest to give her like an order. Like you know, hey, go do this at the library. Go do this with Matt. She wants, like, specific orders, and Honest is like, no, I'm not doing that. You need to find who you are. You need to find who you are now. You're no longer the next queen, you know? Like, who are you? Who's Yuffie? Then, you know, we have all of that. You know, she pretends to be six. We get it. We, 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 sick. I can, I can pronounce them sick. She pretends to be sick. Uh, and we get a lot of really cool Yuri scenes with, uh, you know, one moment that I really laughed, I wrote it down, and I was like, she thought that Honest was going in for a kiss, and she was gonna let it happen, she's like, oh, no, 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 you know, she's saying no, but she was gonna let it happen, but Honest really just wanted to check her temperature with her head, with her forehead, so, so, uh, she's being, she is beginning to be flustered and embarrassed a little bit, and, like, you know, you, uh, uh, Honest is making her moves on Yuffie a little bit, but unintentionally, just kind of by being her, not really realizing the boundaries between them, you know, and what what some of, what crossing some of those boundaries really means. Uh, but Yuffie gets it, and she's been a little, you know, she's like, mm, you know, kind of coming down to the idea. So a lot of really cool Yuri moments uh, between them, even between the even between the maid as well, which is really really cool. Now, uh, speaking about the maid, I also really like the the dialogue that the maid had between Yuffie and kind of explaining how. You know, kind of explaining to Yuffie who she was before being assigned to Honest in this way and how she was, you know, how being assigned to her has been liberating. You know, she she gives a really good example, and I won't, I won't, you, you, you watch the episode, so I won't take too long, but she gives a really good example of like, hey, at, at a point in my life, if my parents would have ordered me to go marry some old dude for wealth, money, renown, whatever, I would have done it in a heartbeat. But she was like, but now I'm the type of person who would be like, I would tell my parents, like, how dare you? How dare you try to get me, like, marry some old coup? What are you guys thinking? And I, she was like, just the, and, uh, you know, just the way that her personality has done a 180 just by simply being under Honest. And basically, Honest has, like, liberated her in a way to where it's like, yes, I pay you, but you're not restrictive of, of, of these things that normal maids have to do so she gets to be like this free bird of a maid too so she gets to be her own person as well and she's more working for honest out of will and how to out of her own like i would i want to do this as opposed to have to do it and i think that was really cool too uh then we have you know we have the whole adventure park i know i'm getting really uh long in the tooth here we have the whole adventure part, which I thought was really cool, and Yuffie finding out that she's a high rank, gold rank adventurer, which she like, what the hell? Uh, and basically, Honest has been hunting her old monsters for materials and stuff, and and uh, her maid's like, yep, that's that's her. And then she gives her a whole speech of how they have to call to arms and how she really wants the magic stone of a dragon, and you know this opportunity will never come again. Even though she's like, yo, it's a dr-. Yuffie's like, yo, it's a dragon, dude, <laughs> and Honest is like. It's a dragon. We need that. <laughs> so it's like she's gonna be able to. She's gonna save the kingdom, get her magic stone, show off to Yuffie, and she's gonna piss her freaking brother off. And we need to figure out what the hell happened between them two. If it's just brother's sheer jealousy of her or what. Uh, but I love how Dad is not completely ignorant. He 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 sees that she overacts as a buffoon. You know, she acts as a buffoon to kind of get what she wants and kind of be left alone. But on the other half, she kind of like disown the throne because she wants her brother to take it. She loves her brother. You know what I mean? So like that's a really cool thing too. So overall, I really love the episode. I'm just gonna end there and say this was a really great episode. Really enjoyed it. I'll give this one easy nine out of ten. Really enjoyable. Really informational. And I can't wait to see what comes next. All right, I'm going to see you guys next week. Peace.